As part of the efforts to position the nation's creative industry, major stakeholders have met to discuss sustainable business models as well as the future of African music globalization. The event was put together by the African Creative Market in partnership with Paramount Africa and was themed supporting the globalization of African music. Our correspondent, Paul George, reports. This gathering has young chief executives, entrepreneurs and other attendees. The interest here is how Nigerians can get more partnership to monetize and sustain their acts globally. They all shared their experiences in an interactive panel session. Um, a lot of people are interested and truly many people are, have been talking about you know, how we can continue to grow the economy within the creative sector. And now that we're here and we've created the platform, more and more partners are coming on board. And we're very grateful to our partners. So we're very youth focused. Um, our youth are very talented, but they need training. The convener, Inya Lawal, speaks on the need for partnership to foster growth. Essentially, we are, if we grow the creative economy, it means you know, Africa is sustained in that way. As you know, music is doing well for, for Africa. Um, and um, it is one way for ensuring that you know, our youth continue um, to sustain themselves. In terms of what's in it for us, we are building a force and growing our general economy within Africa, and we're getting better for it. The keynote speaker, U.S. Consul General in Nigeria, Will Stevens, reels out the support for Nigeria. He says his country has built capacities of different organizations in the country. So the U.S. mission here in Nigeria has invested um, in a variety of ways. So first of all, we've supported organizations like Africa Creative Markets for many years. We support the African International Film Festival each year, financially as well as a, as a partner. Uh, and then we've funded programs such as One Beat, Next Level, which are programs that train young artists and help find the next, the new pipeline of great uh, performers and get them the training they need and connect them with partners here and in the United States. However, Will Stevens says the U.S. is ready to continue to partner and support Nigeria's creative industries. We're going to get it right. We have to be partnering on all levels. And one of the great things about working in Nigeria is the incredibly deep people-to-people -people relationships. There's over half a million Nigerians who are Nigerian Americans, live in the U.S. They're incredibly well-educated, well-connected. Those connections, those cultural ties, are what form the very basis of a partnership. And, and so when we support music, we support film, you're furthering those ties. Uh, and, and something I'm really deeply proud of. Issues on intellectual property rights management and artistic collaborations with international counterparts also took center stage. Meanwhile, other stakeholders are confident that the Nigerian music industry has come to stay. We are focusing for the second year, focusing on intellectual property and enforcing intellectual property, I would say, and also enabling the creative industry with technology. Is if you are informed. So that's why we're happy to be collaborating with African creative markets this year to have right conversations that will keep our mind open and prepared for the influx of the entertainment that's going to be coming this way. I tell you guys, fine, we have collaborations now with international acts. There's an Afrobeat category that's been created at the VMAs. Too many times, the focus is on, on the talent, on the performers, on the key players. Uh, people have to realize that behind every true baba, behind every whiskey, you know, behind every burner boy, it's a whole gamut of professionals. To consolidate on the inroads Nigerian artists are making globally, the organizers called for government support for sustainability. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.